Hey guys, it's Aislinn and in today's video I'm going to be taking you along with me to get tattoo removal. This is something I've been thinking about for a little while now. I just wasn't sure if I was going to do it or not. And then this past weekend I was like thinking about it and I'm like, you know what? I'm going to do it. So it was like a very quick decision. I looked up places. I found like a really cool, nice place. So I made the appointment literally yesterday for today. So we need to get ready for the appointment. And while I'm getting ready, I'll tell you guys a little bit about what I'm getting removed, why I want it removed, and my experience with tattoo removal in the past. Because yes, I have had tattoo removal done in the past before. Also, my hair is faded quite a bit since the last time you guys have seen me. I have washed it like four-ish times since um, you guys last saw me. So the color is actually holding up like okay for washing it four times in hot water with sulfate shampoo. Like I haven't been trying to preserve the color because I like the fade out of rainbow hair. I like the pastel stage it goes through. So this is what my hair is looking like. I'm just gonna do some really easy makeup. I'm not gonna do anything too crazy. I'm just gonna do eyebrows, eyeliner, lashes, lips, freckles, and then um, my hair is so thin and I thought about wearing a wig, but I'm not going to. So I wanna do like two little buns with like little sticking out pieces. My hair like this over here is like all broken off to up here and then this side is a lot longer than this side. It's just a hot mess and I need to cut it, but I won't, you know what I mean? Like I need to cut it, but I'm not going to. I need this to grow out a little bit longer before I cut it all off. Um, I was going to sit and talk with you guys while I do my hair and makeup, but I think I wanna do my hair and makeup off camera because I'll do it faster and then I'll come back and I'll explain to you guys what we're getting removed and everything. My throat hurts, uh, so I don't wanna sit here and like talk a whole bunch while I'm doing my makeup. Also, I just don't feel comfortable with the way I look right now. <laughs> I literally just woke up, my face is puffy, my voice is still a little bit hoarse from waking up. So let me watch some Bailey Sarian, do my makeup and do my hair and I will be right back to explain to you guys exactly what and why. All right, you guys, hair and makeup is done and I gotta make this quick because literally as I'm filming this, the lights in here are flashing as if we're gonna lose power and it is raining all day today. So I wanna make sure I get all this in before my beauty lights. Oh, you can see it flickering now. Oh God, I think we're gonna lose power. Ah! Real quick, I just did some space buns and then um, I just did like some basic regular eyeliner, um, blush, freckles, you know, just simple, easy makeup to do. You guys know I have gone to Bradley Pierce literally since like 2014 he has been my main tattoo artist but he books like a year and a half in advance so if you want an appointment with him you need to book it ahead of time i'm lucky enough to where when i first started going to him he was not that booked out he was booked out like four or five months in advance and over the past like almost 10 years he's just become so much more popular and that shop is just really really popular now so he's booked all the time so basically sometimes i'm impulsive and i want a tattoo and i don't want to wait which is so stupid if you're getting something on your body forever it's worth the wait. Trust me, it is so worth the wait. It's worth the money to find a really good tattoo artist. Bradley is expensive. He's $200 an hour. Literally, I'm putting art on my body forever. That is so worth it. It's so worth it to save up your money, wait a year and a half, and go to someone. Throughout the past, like, almost 10 years, I've went to a couple people in between him just because I wanted a tattoo and I was being impulsive and stupid. Let me tell you, I have not gotten a tattoo from anybody other than Bradley that I'm happy with and that I like. I'm not even kidding you. Not even joking. Every tattoo I've ever gotten by someone else, I don't like or it's not my favorite. I wish I could change it. I wish Bradley would have done it. So just learn from my mistakes, please. So basically in June of 2020, I wanted a tattoo really bad. Bradley was booked. Quarantine had just lifted and tattoo tattoo shops just reopened. So I went to somewhere else. Okay, so I basically had this open spot on my arm, like right here. I had all of this spot opened right here. Um, kind of an odd spot to fill. And if I could go back and do it now, I would do like one piece here, one piece here. I would not make it completely flowing like this. I just don't like the placement of it and it's just not my favorite tattoo. So we're not gonna remove the whole thing. We are only gonna be removing this section right here today. If you guys can see like my whole upper arm is dark. It has roses and this rose kind of 
goes along with this so i don't feel like i need to remove this it's not my favorite rose i wish bradley would have done it yeah i went somewhere new it's not a bad tattoo it's a traditional tattoo so these this is kind of the way it's supposed to look but it's just not my favorite and then right here i had a cover-up so i had a free tattoo that i got and then i was like oh i'm just gonna put a rose over it because i thought it would be easy to cover it's not this just looks like a big blotchy mess you can't really tell what this is and it's on the forefront of my arm so i'm kind of insecure about it so basically this right here is just another one of these type of flowers but because it's put over something else you can't really see what it is um so then there's flowers here it wraps around another flower and then we have some lyrics i'm also not not happy with this font it's not the font that i wanted but this is a billy song so i'm going to keep this right here because i do like it i mean it's not my favorite font but it's really well done the lines are crisp and clean it's not a bad tattoo it's done well this flower is cute this flower is cute i'll add like another flower here and probably another flower right here on my palm uh to kind of like tie all that together but um i'm just going to be getting removed a small portion of it so basically we're going to leave the rose and i'm going to cut it off at the stem so i'm going to get from the stem down to this stem so i'm getting this whole entire chunk right here removed and then i will get just one little piece here in the future so that's what i'm getting removed um i honestly don't have that many tattoos that are done by other people let's see i got my feet done when i was 18 before i met bradley and they're well done but when he was done with the blue foot and went to go tattoo the red foot he didn't make sure all of the ink was out of the needle so on my red foot there is a like purpley blue line around part of it because he didn't like flush all of the ink out of the needle so that's just like a minor thing they look really good they're super old now they're almost 10 years old and they look good still but obviously would have been better if bradley did them i got my hands done um in 2020 probably one of the worst experiences of my life yeah i'm not going to go into detail just in case like the artist sees this even though i shouldn't feel ashamed because i did nothing wrong but um the line work was horrible i can't believe i did that i can't believe i went to somewhere and i just let them tattoo my hands which everybody sees like i should have just had bradley do them i don't know what i was thinking but um bradley wound up redoing them for me obviously there's only so much you can fix when things are put on crooked or lines are super wobbly so bradley did the best he could to um fix any errors in my hands i'm still not like completely happy with my fingers and in the future i might actually black them out um they're okay you know i don't i don't hate them it's not something i look at and i'm like ashamed of them i like them but they could be so much better so in the future i might black out all of my knuckles up here and up here and like black out here black out here and kind of like have them fading up into each other i think that would look sick same thing with my hands right here and right here i got these done the same time i got my fingers done by the same person horrible experience they scabbed really bad and they just didn't look very good so bradley redid them for me and he put some like background shading so it looks so much better i'm so much more happy with my hands and i actually like the numbers on my hands and i will keep those ones i got my thighs done by someone it was horrible it was so bad and i should have learned my lesson because i went to this girl and then i went to get my hands done by this guy and then i went to the go to this guy to do this on my arm and i should have learned the second i got my legs done by someone else and how horrible of an experience that was i should have known like don't go to anyone else but no i went to two other people after that other than bradley um but now i have learned my lesson and i will not be going to anybody else until i move so yeah all that to say i have other tattoos that like I, they're they're okay they're there what am i gonna do about it you know what i mean the leg ones aren't that big of a deal i'll have my legs fully covered one day and those little tattoos that i don't like you won't be able to pick them out amongst like my whole leg tattoo right now they're a little more obvious because my legs are still kind of bare and i'm working on filling them right now but once they're full you're not gonna see that one tattoo on my leg you're gonna see the whole leg sleeve so it's not that big of a deal to me so that's what i'm getting removed that's why i'm getting it removed i just think i could put something better there it's on the front of my arm i'm ashamed of it i noticed yesterday somebody touched my arm in public which i hate if you see someone in public and you like their hair or you like their tattoos 
don't touch them that's not okay at all three people actually touched me it was like a group of people and all three of them thought it would be okay to put their hands on my arms and run their hands down my arm across my tattoos that makes me so uncomfortable and you should never touch someone without their consent or permission even if it's something simple like grabbing someone's hair or touching someone's tattoos that crosses the line it's not okay please don't do it it makes me so uncomfortable i didn't say anything um i should have said something like please don't touch me but it was like i was at an appointment and so i was getting like work done at the appointment and so i was kind of in my appointment room like what am i supposed to do get up and leave you know i'm like i'm like getting stuff done so i couldn't get up and walk out if if strangers approach me in public and do that i always say something i always stay, take a step back and i'm like like oh thank you but i don't let them touch me because people do try and touch me when i'm like shopping or something and i just take a step back while they're reaching for me i'm taking a step back and i'm like you know, I don't say don't touch me, but I'm just like responding while pulling away. Like you're not gonna touch me in public. But this was a different situation. I was kind of cornered in a room and there's like three people around me and I was at an appointment and I couldn't like move. I was sitting in a chair, like I couldn't get up and walk away. And all of that to say, when they touched my arm, I noticed I jerked this arm away and I covered it because that tattoo makes me really insecure and you just can't tell what it is it's just it makes me insecure and in that moment i was like okay i had already been thinking about getting tattoo removal but i was like i need to get it done if i'm pulling my arm away and covering it because i'm ashamed of it and i don't want them to see it like i need to get it removed if it's really bothering me that much all my other tattoos i've gotten done by someone else don't bother me that much i don't hide them i'm like you know they're good enough it's fine it's not like the end of the world but this one in particular like it it really bothers me and in that moment i was like okay we're gonna schedule tattoo removal so the next day i went ahead and called and scheduled tattoo removal this specific situation i also went to someone who was loyal to the coil if you know about the tattoo industry and tattoo artists and stuff some people are hardcore like traditional tattoo artists they like firmly believe that like traditional tattooing is the only way to tattoo they only tattoo that specific style and they use a tattoo machine it's a coil machine i think i don't know a lot about tattooing but i do know people who are loyal to the coil that's just what like people in the industry say oh they're loyal to the coil this guy was loyal to the coil which i did not know before going because i would not have gone <laughs> if i would have known that i didn't know that he was one of those niche people who are loyal to the coil and when i first got this tattoo done the lines were super thin and crisp but over the next year they like doubled in size which i don't know if it has something to do with the specific machine he used i have never had a tattoo do that before by anybody else and i've never been tattooed by a coil machine before that was the first time and that was the only time my tattoos have like doubled in size like all of these lyrics right here were really thin and crisp and like the designs of the rose and flowers were pretty crisp when i got them done the line work was great um but over the next year the design kind of fattened up I don't know if that has something to do with the machine honestly no idea but i did notice that also so that's what i'm getting removed and why i have gotten tattoo removal before i'm not sure if you guys know that or not i did actually vlog the whole process back in 2016 i actually tried youtube for the first time and i did it for less than a year probably like six months and then i completely deleted my channel but i did save some of the videos from there and one of the videos i documented was actually me getting tattoo removal i documented the whole process for you guys and i explained it i actually still have that video on my laptop so let me know if you want to see it it's very cringy but um i had a tattoo on my chest it was the first tattoo i ever got it was a black friday event that i went to when i was 18 i thought it was so cool i got some lyrics on my chest with some birds like some little tiny black birds so when i decided i wanted like a full chest piece those lyrics and those birds were in the way so i started getting tattoo removal i did four sessions i didn't have to have the tattoo completely removed i just needed it faded enough so that way bradley could do my chest piece and it would cover up the old tattoo so i did four sessions and i went to a tattoo shop to get tattoo removal which i regret because the type of machine they used was not a pico laser pico lasers are the only fda approved tattoo removal machine on the market as of right now so um back in the day i didn't know anything about tattoo removal i just knew that like a local shop did tattoo removal so i went there and like i said i did four sessions and it hurts so bad 
so much worse than getting tattooed. It feels like you have a sunburn with scratches on it and someone's taking a rubber band and flicking you over and over and over. Like it, it hurt so bad. And then like for the hour after I got it done, it hurt. Like I said, it was not a FDA approved tattoo removal machine. And I did have some scarring over some of the areas that had the um, dense black pigment where the bird was on my shoulder. I still have scarring. You can't see it because I have a tattoo over it, but I can feel like where I had a little bit of scarring because the machine that was used was not an FDA approved machine. So this time around, I wanted to make sure I did my research and I went somewhere that was um, not a tattoo place. Like I wanted to go to to like a medical place to get it removed. So I found this place, they have the only FDA approved tattoo Pico laser machine. So I was like, okay, great, sounds awesome. They had many before and after photos of tattoo removal. I think I'm probably gonna need like five to six sessions on this arm. After I found this place, I found out that they have a TikTok, they have a YouTube channel, they do social media. So I'm really, really excited. I'm hoping that they're gonna let me film we're gonna see, I'm gonna explain the situation to them and I think they're gonna be open to it because they have their own YouTube videos of doing procedures. They have gone on Facebook Live to do tattoo removal before. They have TikTok videos of procedures they've done. So I thought that was awesome and it's so rare to find medical places that do TikTok and social media, especially in the Midwest. Like it's just unheard of here. And when you say like, I do social media for a living, they're like, what do you do? Like, I don't understand. So it was cool to find a place that already does that stuff. They can relate to me. They will understand. I'm really excited to start the process. I'm excited to know more about it. When I got tattoo removal before at the tattoo shop in like 2016, it was so cheap. It was like $60 each time I went and got it removed. So it was very, very affordable obviously because it's not like the professional machine and stuff. I have no idea how much it's gonna cost this time. I will tell you guys all about the pricing and everything once I know more, but right now I, I literally have no idea how much it's gonna cost. Tattoo removal is so expensive. It's much more expensive than getting that tattoo originally. So really think about it before you get tattooed. I wish I would've thought about it a little bit more before I did it, but I didn't and here we are. So let's go ahead and get on the road. It's 9.40, I need to leave in five minutes. I have to put my shoes on, grab my wallet and everything. Okay, outfit check. Okay, so it is a rainy ass, wet, cloudy spring day today. So I am going to wear this sweater because it's like gonna be 60 so not cold enough to wear a jacket not warm enough to wear no sleeves so i'm just wearing this so i can pull up my sleeve for the tattoo removal um it's warm enough it's a sweater i'm wearing my ripped jeans and then because it's rainy outside i am wearing my rainbow oil slick doc martens i decided to commit to the rainbow look today we got the rainbow hair the rainbow shirt we got the rainbow docks okay i'm gonna go ahead and get in the car and i will see you guys once we're there wish me luck can't wait to be in pain it's gonna hurt <laughs> okay i just arrived it's actually in a hospital so i have to go in and find the suite number it's suite 108 so i'm currently at the hospital i gotta head inside so i can find the sweet number because I have no idea where I'm going. So wish me luck and hopefully they'll let me film in there. If so, I'll see you inside. And if not, I will see you once I'm done back in the car. Wish me luck. So here I am in the bathroom. I just want to show you guys what it looked like. I thought the bathroom was really cute and like relaxing. So here's what the bathroom looked like. And then um, in the next clip, I'm going to show you guys the room that I had to wait in. So basically when you walk in, there's like a big lobby with the front desk and then you go to the back area. So this is once you walk in, they take you to the back area. So this isn't the main waiting lobby. It's just like a side waiting lobby. And then here is the room in which they do the tattoo removal it was pretty small but i mean you don't need a big room if you're just going to be sitting there getting tattoo removal and there is the tattoo removal machine right behind me okay you guys i am in the room and they said that i could film i will leave um a link to their website in the description down below in case you're in the area and you want tattoo removal so allison is doing my tattoo removal today hey <laughs> they're super nice and it's gonna be $300 because it's a smaller tattoo for me. Obviously, everyone will be different depending on the size and how many sessions you have to do. But we're gonna go ahead and do the first session today. I'm really excited, I can't wait. And I will uh, film everything so you guys can see the whole process. And we'll see how bad it hurts this time. <laughs> can't wait. <laughs> 
Okay, so here we are getting ready to do the tattoo removal. As you can see, she used tape to tape off the section that she was going to do the tattoo removal on. And the reason she did this is because I have so many other tattoos around it. I'm not sure if the laser can like blast outside of its radius and accidentally hit those areas. So she just wanted to tape them off to make sure that the laser doesn't accidentally hit those areas. I don't know if that's the reason or if she just wanted to make sure she didn't go over any of the other areas that I didn't want done because this tattoo was all connecting and it was all flowing in the same area so I think she just did it to make sure that she wasn't going to hit any other tattoos that I didn't want removed so there's another person in the room on the other side of me and she's holding this chill blaster you can see the end of the tube it kind of looks like a vacuum tube and it's blowing really really cold air on my arm by the time she had started doing the actual tattoo removal with the laser my arm was like numb because it was so cold it felt really really nice though whenever she started doing the tattoo removal to have that like ice cold air blowing on my arm last time i got tattoo removal there was no blast chiller or anything again it wasn't like a super professional place it was at a tattoo shop and it wasn't the right pico laser machine so it was really cool to have an experience where they're actually doing it like the proper medical way and it was for my comfort like at the tattoo place they didn't really give a shit about my comfort and at the medical place their first concern was me and my comfort she kept asking me throughout the process if i was okay and she kept saying like if i needed to stop at any time please let her know so it was a really different and cool experience to have the providers care about like me and what i was going through honestly it wasn't that bad but it was just nice to know that like you know they cared about me and they were concerned about me so here she's using alcohol just to wipe off the area in case I had any lotion or any perfume or dirt on the area and we all are wearing eyeglasses by the way because it is a laser it's important to wear eye protection so she's wearing eye protection I am also wearing eye protection and the person holding the chill blaster tube on my arm is also wearing eye protection I actually walked out of the room with the glasses on <laughs> And she was like, oh, I forgot to take those glasses from you. And she said she always does that and it was really funny. So now we're getting ready to begin with the laser process and I'm going to let you hear the audio so you can see how fast and how loud it was. Okay, you ready? Yep. Here we go. I'm gonna do my test shot okay. right over here on your little seat. Okay. So I am going to voice over this portion of the video because there was music playing in the room and I don't want to get a copyright violation, but you could kind of hear the machine and how loud it was. It's not super loud, it's just like little like that type of sound and over the areas where it's super super black and pigmented it makes more of that zapping sound and it I could feel the zaps more and then the areas of my skin where it was just shaded or it was kind of bare and there wasn't really any pigment there and it was just my skin it didn't hurt as bad and it didn't make as loud of a zap sound so basically the areas where there's ink where it's trying to break up and shatter those ink molecules that's where you're gonna here and you're gonna feel more of the sensation of the tattoo removal and as you could see from the previous clip when Allison was talking to me she was super super nice and considerate and was really concerned about like the patient and how I felt and if I needed to stop or take a break at any time she was super super nice and accommodating which again I didn't have before at the tattoo shop I just sat there grinned and bared it and it took a lot longer than this did and the machine he used was like totally different than this one I would say the pain comparison between the last time I got tattoo removal and this one is about equal They did hurt about the same while I was getting it done But the aftercare and the healing process was totally different with the other tattoo removal my Skin kind of looked like it had been sliced open like it looked like it was red and bloodshot and it looked like I had been cut basically 
and this um, healing process has been totally different. It's been a week now since I've gotten it done and I had no scabbing. It didn't look like I was bleeding at all. This is the traditional way I've seen it done in the past. And last time I got tattoo removal, this is how I thought it would go. So as you can see, while she's going over the tattoo, it's turning like white colored. That obviously doesn't last. Like within 30 minutes to an hour, that white cast is gone. It just happens while she's doing the tattoo removal. And when I got tattoo removal last time, this did not happen the tattoo did not turn white and frothy at all and when I got it I was expecting it to do this and it didn't and I'm guessing it was just because of the type of laser he used it didn't have the same effect on my skin so this time when I saw my skin turning white and frothy I got really excited because it was exactly what I had expected it was gonna be and I knew that like it was the right process and it's exactly like all the other tattoo removal videos I had watched and this whole process might seem like it's taking a while but from the time she started the tattoo removal from the time it was finished it was like three or four minutes so it really didn't take very long at all it was a super quick process and it did hurt but having that chill blaster made the pain like so much more tolerable if you can have the chill blaster i definitely recommend it because without it it would hurt probably like over twice as bad as it did with the chill blaster Good job, girl. Thank you. You're welcome. I'm going to get a little bit of acid tracing on it and I'll okay. cover it for you. So all right, you guys, I am back in the car. She just wrapped it up and then um, gave me like a goodie bag with all the aftercare information and everything in it. That literally didn't hurt nearly as bad as the last time I got tattoo removal because it was like the correct machine. They also had that like chill blaster. So it was like blasting really cold air while they were like burning, <laughs> burning me basically. <laughs> but um, last time I got tattoo removal, it hurt so bad for like the hour after I got it done, I couldn't move. Like I would just sit there because it hurt so bad and I would just put an ice pack on my chest for like an hour. So I actually brought an ice pack because I thought I would need it, but this machine is like so good and it's actually what's supposed to be used that it really doesn't hurt that bad and I'm totally fine. So I'm gonna head home now. I have about an hour drive home and then I will tell you guys more about pricing, pain, everything else like that. One weird thing, I could taste it. Like nobody else said anything. I don't think it smelled because I kept smelling and I couldn't smell like my burning flesh, but in my mouth, like halfway through, I started tasting something weird in my mouth and I'm guessing it was literally my flesh i don't know i don't know anyway i will uh see you guys at home and i will tell you guys about the whole experience all right as you guys can see i am back home now and i have a ricola in my mouth because i'm starting to get sick thank you to my husband for getting me sick but i want to go over the little things i got talking about the aftercare and everything in case you're curious we have a little helper who wants to help me explain things to you my handsome son here he thinks i have food that's what he thinks this bag is so let's go over some of these aftercare instructions she gave me two gauze pads in case i need to redo this and she also gave me the antibiotic ointment so i have this stuff if i need to replace this i think i already told you but it costs 300 dollars um and that's for the smallest price point obviously if you have a medium or large tattoo it's going to cost you more than that but since mine was just like a small area, she just charged me the smallest amount, which was 300. My cats are going crazy right now. They're all getting into things. So I have the little pamphlet talking about PicoSure, which is the laser remover. This is specifically from the brand. It talks about the laser, how it works, what it does. I'm gonna read you a little bit about how the laser works in case you don't know. During treatment with PicoSure, ultra short trillions of a second pulses target ink particles with pressure wave technology, a pressure so powerful the ink shatters into tiny dust-like particles. These microscopic particles are more rapidly absorbed and eliminated naturally by the body. So basically the laser hits those ink particles, breaks them down, and then your body flushes them out. Um, and this PicoSure laser works on any colors. Some colors are harder to remove than others. Black is one of the easiest. Um, I've heard yellow and green are two of the harder colors to remove. Thankfully, mine's just black, so it should fade a little bit quicker than other colors. It says on here, treatments typically occur every six to eight weeks. So the um, place I went, they schedule every 12 weeks and i asked if i could do it every eight weeks i told her i've had tattoo removal before my skin is fine 
with doing it every six to eight weeks. So she said we could do eight weeks. As far as how many sessions I need, I'm not really sure. She normally tells people 10, just as a general rule of thumb, 10 sessions to completely remove the tattoo. Obviously, it could take way less than that, or you might need more. It just depends on what kind of tattoo you have, how it was done, how long you've had it. Like, there's just so many factors. So I am not looking to get mine totally removed. I'm gonna get mine covered up, so I just need it faded enough to be able to cover it. So I think five sessions should be able to remove most of the ink enough to where I'll be able to cover it up with no problem. She also gave me this list of aftercare instructions. So I'm just gonna go over them a little bit with you guys in case you're looking to get this done. So before you go in to get the removal, you're supposed to avoid sun exposure, tanning beds, no sun lotions four weeks prior to getting this done and if you are in sunlight apply sunscreen every two hours you're supposed to avoid waxing tweezing and any type of hair remover creams prior to the appointment don't use any of that stuff there's just like a list of things not to do so after you get it done here are the post care instructions you're supposed to avoid sun exposure avoid tanning beds don't use tanning lotions don't shave the treated area until it's completely healed avoid rubbing or scratching the treated area it might result in infection and scarring if you do. Avoid swimming or soaking in hot tubs until the skin heals. Avoid any physical activity that could cause injury to the area. Exercise is generally safe after treatment considering other aftercare instructions provided here, which is good because I am going to the gym tonight. Itching is very common due to the dehydrating effect of laser treatment. Use antibiotic ointment or hydrocortisone cream. Apply a non-stick pad over the tattoo until it's healed. This will prevent the area from friction and becoming irritated. Discomfort may be relieved by applying cool gel packs or cool compresses. Blistering is also common and is likely to occur eight hours after your treatment. Blisters heal very well and are a part of the normal healing process. Blisters indicate your immune system is healing in the air Area, it's beginning to remove the ink from your tattoo. It's natural for blisters to pop and this helps the skin to heal faster in many cases. If crusting or blistering occurs, do not pick the area. Apply a thin layer of antibiotic ointment over the blisters once they have popped for at least 24 hours. Following the treatment, you may experience redness or slight swelling to the area. You may also develop acne like breakout or slight darkening of pigment, which should resolve on its own. It's okay to shower two hours after the treatment, but take care to avoid high pressure water hitting the treated area. Thankfully, I showered before. You may also take uh, over-the-counter pain reliever such as acetaminophen, which I probably will because I'm supposed to start my period today. So I'm probably going to get cramps anyway, and I'm going to take it. So I will definitely take it to help with swelling and pain. And the last one says, if the area looks infected and you are experiencing an unusual discomfort, bleeding, or spreading of redness, please call the office immediately. So pretty simple post-care instructions. Like I said, she gave me some of this and some extra pads to make sure everything is wrapped up so it's going to be three hundred dollars every single time i go to get this removed um it's actually going to cost more than a than a tattoo that size would cost so if you're going to get tattoos think about what you want before you get them make sure to go to someone who knows what they're doing and is the style you like and i think that's all let me know if you want me to vlog the other tattoo removal appointments i have coming up like i said i'm getting them every eight weeks so if you want to see a progression and an update of the tattoo removal experience let me know if you want to see that down below i have no problem recording it for you and it's pretty cool that they let me so i can definitely update you guys on every session so you guys can see the whole process and how well it's fading after so many treatments i think that's all i have if you guys have any questions leave them in the comment section down below and i will try to respond to you that is all for today's video i hope you guys enjoyed it don't forget to check out my instagram the link to that is in the description down below i post way more of my everyday life on there give the video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it i love you guys so much and until next time guys Stay weird. Bye.